yeah, you can tell it's windy. It's not even plugged in. That's awesome. Kitchen here. I need to get a lot more food. My pantry is looking barren as. Classic game room sticker on the fridge. And this is the game room slash living room. We have PlayStation 1. More room for them. TV. I'm going to get a bigger TV at some point and get it wall mounted. Miscellaneous controllers and stuff. This is the random shelf. It's got Xbox, uh, GameCube, Wii, Wii U. And just truly random stuff like CDI, Amiga, Game Gear. Uh, my giant PlayStation 2 collection. I didn't realize I had quite that much, but there is space for more, thankfully. I have spaces in between and space down there. PSP collection, which is pretty big itself. And god damn it, I've already run out of space for PlayStation 3 games. That's okay, we'll get more space. Okay, so as I was setting up, I got that beautiful ka sound to let me know that Bard's Tale I just sold, so that's good. I have to clean it up a little bit before I send it out, but someone actually requested that I do a video showing how I send stuff out, so I'm going to do that after this video. So I'll just put this over here. It can be packed up and ready to go in a bit. Okay, so, just to let you guys know, I haven't been doing a whole lot of game hunting recently. I've been very focused on this move, and I've had to do a lot of things, get electricity, internet, you know, gas and water turned on, all of those kind of things. Uh, working out bill payments, stuff like that. I've also been, like, just moving stuff, I mean. It took a long time to get all of these in order, and I had to re-alphabetize everything, because I bought so much more since the last time I alphabetized it, but now... All the A's are together, all the B's are together, all of the C's are together, all of the L's and M's are together. Same with my PlayStation 3, and I'll... Same with the Xbox. I'll probably do it for the Wii stuff and PlayStation 1 stuff at some point, but... Uh, it's just gonna take a little bit of time, which is okay. I have a lot of time now. I'm still working my full-time schedule, and I'm going to be moved around shifts a little bit, because the person who was taking over my old shifts is not doing so well, so... I'm going to have to. Why am I looking otherwise? Let's look at the camera. <laughs> That's always a complaint I have. I, for some reason, I never just look at the camera. I'm always, oh, what's over here? What's over there? What's over there? Is a person over there going to shoot me? No, no, no. Okay, look at the camera. Alright. Let's look at the camera. I just look at random stuff. I don't know why. But yeah, the person at my work who has taken over from me isn't doing so well, so I'm going to have to go back to my old shifts. Uh, plus a few extras so that I make up the hours, and I'm going to be getting penalty rates that way, so... More money for me, which means more games for the collection, which means uh, more videos, so it'll be good. Alright, let's show off some of my pickups. This is over like a three week period, I don't know when I got any of this stuff. I know where I got it, just not really when. So two online purchases. First up here, this was like $5.50 free shipping, one for the collection. Beat Mania on the original PlayStation 1. As opposed to the new PlayStation 1, I don't know. Yeah, PS1 there. Looks good. Looks really good. It's just like a music mixing game, but I mean, those can be kind of stupid and fun in their own way. Yeah, it looks good. Look at that one ago. Probably pop it in for 10 minutes and throw it up on the shelf. It is complete. X rental, but I don't mind. It'll look nice on the shelf. I'm going to try and buy less of those kind of titles, stuff that I'm not going to play a whole lot. One that I've played and finished, uh, Demolition Girl. This took under an hour to beat. It is god awful. This was, I think, $14 of free shipping, but it had a $10 coupon. So I paid 4 bucks for this free ship, which is a really good deal. It's not worth anything, but it is kind of hard to find. Like, I've never seen a copy in person. It's just one I wanted to get. You play as a series of vehicles trying to destroy this, not destroy, but like help this giant woman. She like found a jellyfish on the beach and it was an alien that injected her of something that made her grow to massive proportions and now she's all confused. So yeah, you play as a helicopter trying to like shoot her down, stuff like that. And it's really dumb. Like there's a mission where you just analyze her body parts and you just have to stare at her, which is kind of creepy. And the last mission, like, you have to destroy this giant jellyfish thing that's trying to destroy the world. 
But it's it's fun for what it is. If you get this for five bucks, it's worth a play. It controls horrendously, but you get used to the controls after a while. It's all complete and they're all in good condition. This is one gone straight onto the game shelf. There we go. I went to the market sometime in the last three weeks apparently. And I went to Eddie, who has like a retro gaming booth, he has a lot of video games there. And I grabbed this one, asked how much, and he said 10 bucks. And I said, 10 bucks for Sphinx the Curse Mummy? I can finally replace my American copy that I don't play. I could actually play this one. Holy shit, hell yeah. This is an awesome game. I think 2D UK really likes this game as well. It's a 3D platformer where he plays either a mummy or what's the other guy's name? Sphinx, yeah. Sphinx or the mummy, yeah. It's just a really, really good game. I played this a lot when I was younger. This one was really worth your time. This one will go slight onto the S. Not a whole lot more room for S, unfortunately. Unless I put it down here where there's lots of room. It's a good thing I have these shelves that have room on them. Okay, I think at one point, maybe on a Monday, I went to Computer Exchange and Cash and Loaders. I remember I traded in a bunch of stuff for Computer Exchange and I have a bunch of credit. But I didn't buy anything while I was there just because nothing really interested me and I wasn't really sure what I had and what I didn't have. But I went to Cash Converters in Mapabat and found three games. I found more, but they've already been sold on, except for this one. I'm going to list that later. If anybody wants that, 15 bucks. I found three games, one for the PlayStation 3 collection that I didn't have and really wanted to get. Watchmen, The End is Nigh. I like the movie. I think it's very, very long. But it is way better than the comic books simply because of the, like, um... Of, like the ending plot I guess like you, you don't know in the comic book I'm not spoiling anything this is like a 30 year old comic book in the comic book at the end the uh bad guy I don't remember his name but he summons a giant squid alien monster to destroy a city but it like kills itself while being teleported and like it's it's so silly it's like the storyline and the plot they came up with for the movie was so much better this game, I've heard bad things, but I have played it before, I played like a demo of it, back when it originally came out, and it was fun, you're just like going around beating up bad guys, that's way up my alley, I love beat em up, so that was five bucks, couldn't pass on that, couldn't pass on. I also found two Playstation 2 games, uh, Lego Indiana Jones, I'd love to get all of the Lego games, just for the sake of packing them. And they're fun too, I like playing the Lego games, especially like the original Lego Star Wars. That game is so good, so funny. That was two bucks. And one that I'll check my collection for, I'm pretty sure I have this game. Spongebob, Squarepants, Battle for Bikini Bottom. This is supposed to be a really good game, I remember playing it for about 30 minutes and thinking, yeah, it's good. So I need to go back and spend more time with it. This one... This one is definitely a keeper because the disc on this one is perfect and I'm pretty sure my other one was scratched up so for two bucks definitely an upgrade and this is like a $30 game at least it's crazy how expensive this game is for what it is. You know what, let's check do I have Spongebob? I have Spongebob the movie, and Spongebob Revenge of the Flying Dutchman, so now I have three Spongebob games. Why not? I like Spongebob. Hey, these, these games don't seem really good, don't judge. These are good games. This game that's like, oh, you have Spongebob on the PlayStation? What's wrong with you? Nah, these are good, solid platformers, man. Right, and... From EB Games, I also went to EB Games while I was trading in stuff for CEX because they always take forever. And I got... This was this one as well. 
they were having their deal. I grabbed four games, three for eighteen dollars. Buy one get two free. I grabbed Sniper Elite on the way. I was wondering where that one came from. It must be on this set. Uh, NCIS based on the TV series. It looks really bad. I'm sure I'll enjoy it. And Little Big Planets 2 Extras Edition. Never seen this one before. Maybe it's a little bit harder to find. That's pretty cool. It's got a uh, ad for the Vita version. Poor Vita. Yeah, that's really cool. I like the Little Big Planet. They're fun. I like downloading like random maps. And so those are three for eighteen dollars. I don't even know if they're doing that deal anymore. I haven't been to EB Games in so long. I also grabbed this game, I saw it, and I had a bit of trading credit, and I was like, okay, I'll buy this one, I'll have to pay a little bit of cash out of pocket for it, but that's okay. Because this is an RPG that was not on my list, and I'm not really sure how I didn't notice it, but it is Tears to Tiara 2, Heir of the Overlord. This looks like a strategy RPG, it looks really good. It looks really good, I, I dig my strategy RPGs. Turn-based battle in a strategy sense when you're on like the grid and stuff. I love that. Like uh, Final Fantasy Tactics and Tactics Ogre. I don't know what's wrong with me today. <laughs> I've been doing a lot lately. I'm a bit low on energy. Sorry guys. Yeah, this looks really, really good. Definitely sit down and give this one a go. 28 bucks. Bit expensive. About what it goes for. But it's in my collection now. Now I don't have to pay for it again. Yeah, over the last three weeks I spent like 50 bucks on games, something like that. So I've been saving a bit of money. Oh wait, what am I doing? I still have one more thing to show. I got this yesterday. Not yesterday. I got this on Saturday from JB Hi-Fi. I had to go and my Wi-Fi thing for the uh, unit here. It's really, really bad. It's like one from the 80s. So I had to get an adapter to put in so I can actually attach a Wi-Fi router to it. So I went to JB Hi-Fi, 10 bucks. I found it immediately. And I also sold this on the clearance rack. It is Toy Story 3, the limited edition. Five bucks. At Toy Story 3 on the Wii and three movies, I guess. It says book. Have I been ripped off here? What's Disney trying to do? Get me to read? You think I'm some kind of nerd? <laughs> yeah. Alright, so I have the game there. Sealed brand new. And check this out. Books. That's what the kids love, right? They don't want to see the movies, they want to read the book of the film. Come on. It's like actual like little novels. I really hope they're actual like novels. That would be so funny. I'd buy this for a kid in a heartbeat and just watch the uh, happiness drain from their faces they realize they have to read something. <laughs> Maybe they're a kid who loves reading, I don't know. In which case, good for them. Yeah, five bucks. That'll just be a nice little thing to hang up. It's nice to have. I'll put it right over here. That's what I like about this new game room. It's like I can walk around it a bit and yeah, I'll go off camera every now and again, but you guys don't really care, I don't think. But yeah, that's all of my pickups. I do have work today and it's probably going to be for guys, for people who don't know, and I don't know why you would know, but I've been working 2pm to 10pm lately, and it's really messed my sleep schedule, because I'm a very early riser. I used to get up at like 7am, like yesterday I got up at 10, and my girlfriend was really, really worried. Uh, sorry babe. But yeah, I've just been working a lot, focusing on this move out. I've finally moved in, everything is set up, there's a few little things I need to get, there's always going to be a few little things, but... But now it's okay, I have a pantry full of food, fridge full of food, you know, water runs, electricity, electriciates, I don't know, uh, Wi-Fi reaches to my laptop, so yeah, I'm pretty happy with this, and thankfully um, I don't need to pay rent on this place, which is good, it's actually a place my mom owns, but I just live here now, instead of at home, and we're all happy with it. So yeah, that'll be, that'll be it. So my husband, you guys fare well, thank you for watching, and yeah, it's nice to be in a new place. I think I'm going to do pretty well here. I've, I've earned enough money to be able to live here comfortably and still keep the game fun going well. What I am going to do is set a limit on how much I spend. I'm going to take out 
forty dollars a week cash and just use that for the game fund. And if I run out of that, then no more game hunting. So yeah, it'll be videos might be a little bit more sporadic. I'm not sure. I might start doing like live streams and stuff. I don't know. But yeah, that's it for now. I'll see you when it has been. You guys farewell. Hope you guys have a good one. I hope you enjoy it. See you. So because I'm lacking a table to do this on at the moment, I'm just going to do this on a couch. Someone asked me to show them what I do before I send something out, and it's pretty simple. So we have a game here. Basically, I just give it a wipe down. I always take the insert out before giving it a wipe down. But I've already done that. This one is all ready to go. So you can see the case itself is nice and clean. There's no like marks or anything on the case. Our manual is clear of stickers. Unfortunately, this one ripped a tiny bit, but that's okay. The seller knows. I make sure the disc isn't too scratched before I list something. Usually I do that before I even buy something, but I do that anyway before I list it as well. And I put a little thing of bubble wrap in here just so the disc doesn't go anywhere. And what I send them out in is these. These are five for a pack, five dollars, like a pack of 20 something of them. So it's a really good deal. And they're not, they don't have any kind of padding on them, but I send stuff out cheaply because I sell stuff cheaply and people are usually happy with it. So yeah, that's what I do. So if I send out something that is a DVD sized case, then it is just thin enough to thin in to fit in as a large letter. So I can send stuff for pretty cheap. If it's under 125 grams, it sends out for two bucks. If it's over that, it sends out for three dollars. It's If it's over 500 grams, I think it's five bucks. But yeah, it's still pretty cheap and I always do pretty well on it. So. That's how I send stuff out, and that's what I pay. And I always charge free shipping anyway, so it's a... Uh, because I charge free shipping, I try to send stuff out cheaply. If it's a bigger item, obviously I try to pad it up. If it's a console, I put in a lot of padding for it and pay like extra to make sure it gets there safely, but generally I just send stuff out regular post. And that's all, folks. Thank you.